The repeater effect does a great job at one thing, capturing a chunk of sound from what's playing and allowing the user to control how it's being repeated. And by using the right mouse button, you can record the changes so that the repeater is automated in the same way every time the song is played. If the repeater is applied to the entire mix, then shorter sounds can get lost in the process. This can of course happen to anything, but you're most likely to be concerned with the drums. By not capturing the drums, they can be a little tame compared to the repeating rhythm, or worse, actually at odds with it. So, what if you could, for example, have the kick drum match what the repeater is doing? With constantly changing timings of odd lengths, it's normally impossible to know precisely when notes should be placed. And that's where the repeater notation tool comes in. So, how does the tool actually work? Well, as you can see, the grid from the repeater effect is replicated here, allowing you to manually insert notes of very strict timings. The free section at the top has been changed here with the divisor slider and the button to the left where you can manually insert very precise timings. Where the notes get inserted into in the pattern editor is the track that the cursor is in. And by default, it will fill up the entire pattern. Although you can make a selection and use just that instead. And this also applies to the method of creating the notes automatically by linking the tool to a repeater device in your song. Select the track that it's in using the menu here and then select the repeater from the menu here. This will enable the Insert Notes button. And, as it says, it will only make use of effect commands, not graphical automation. And we'll get to why that is in a second. Now, you might be wondering about what happens when the LPB changes the song's tempo because this also changes the tempo of what the repeater device is doing. Well, you don't actually need to worry about that. All the calculations for changes in LPB when it's automated, that's already taken into consideration when the notes and their delays are put into the pattern. And what constitutes those notes? is under your control at the top here. You can choose the note, the instrument number, and you can also control the volume and panning settings if you want something particular there, as well as an additional effects command and a value. And all of this will be placed if you make changes to it here, alongside any notes and the delays that are placed into the pattern editor. Now, there are a few limitations for this tool. As I mentioned, it won't make use of graphical automation for the repeater. Now, the reason for this is that effect commands can only happen once per line, and so that makes the calculations for that much easier. Whereas for graphical automation, they can be placed at 1 256th of a line. And with all the possible permutations that go on with that, that makes it quite tricky to incorporate. Not saying it won't happen for a future update, but we'll see. There's a couple of other more minor limitations, and if you're interested you can read about them on the forum post linked in the video description. 
And also linked there is where you can download this repeater notation tool.